Bill Sokolov, 1922 to 2004, was a multimillionaire businessman and crusader against heart disease. In the 1980s and early 1990s he targeted the restaurant chain McDonald's and is credited with almost single-handedly forcing numerous changes. The Los Angeles Times eulogized Sokolov saying, in our big, complex, and bureaucratized society, here was indeed a case where one person made a difference, and where an idea had definite and beneficial consequences. Though he had never been overweight and had never smoked, he had a heart attack in 1966 at the age of 43. His research led him to believe that high-fat foods were the culprit, and in the 1980s, he founded the National Heart Savers Association. Sokolov's efforts grabbed the greatest number of headlines regarding the McDonald's menu, most notably ending the practice of cooking their French fries in beef tallow. He also waged campaigns against the use of so-called tropical oils, such as coconut and palm oils, which were used in the manufacture of many cookies and crackers. According to the Los Angeles Times, Sokolov's campaign forced several manufacturers, including Ralston Purina, Borden, Pillsbury, Quaker Oats, Sunshine Biscuits, Pepperidge Farm, and Keebler, to end their use of tropical oils in their products. After winning his war on beef tallow and tropical oils, Sokolov's public profile was reduced, but he continued his fight, primarily against fat in the diet. In 1995, Bryant Gumbel introduced him for a debate on the Today Show as America's No. Sokolov took out ads decrying the popularity of 2% milk, arguing that it is not low-fat, and encouraging parents to only buy skim milk. In 1997, he enjoined Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods to not endorse McDonald's. In 2002, Sokolov briefly returned to his full-page ad purchasing practice to discourage fellow Omaha native Warren Buffett from purchasing Burger King.